Flexi binding in Anime Studio is a way to set up bones uh, that's really easy and convenient. So here I have some vector artwork, and if I just draw in some bones, and then switch to the Manipulate Bones tool, without saying what they should control, the bones do the right thing because um, they have these regions of influence, and they uh, bend the, the your artwork that is inside those regions of influence. So that works great in this situation, uh, where it doesn't work so well is when you have artwork that overlaps itself. So let's take a look at an example of that. So here's a character that is made up of several image layers. Um, let me turn off the different body parts so we can see the skeleton here. I've set up this skeleton so that it has uh, um, some constraints that cause things to bend in nice curvy ways. And the skeleton moves the way we would expect. Everything, you know, simple skeleton. The problem is when we look at the artwork, turn it back on, <clears throat> With standard flexi binding, this is what happens. When I try and move the character, it stretches all the artwork inside. And this is not at all what we want this character to be doing. So what can we do about this? There are several approaches. One thing you can do is break apart the bones so that you spread the arms and the legs apart the artwork and the bones, and then put them back together using this tool, the offset bone tool. Um, so that is a way to put a character together and, and prevent some of this. But often you have to change from regular flexi binding to region binding, and that's kind of limited. It um, has harsher bends, and you know, it's just breaking apart your character is not a really desirable thing to do. It sort of makes it hard to get. Um, to build the character the way it's supposed to look if you know that it's going to have to be pulled apart and put back together and all that. So it's just not a, a desirable thing to do. Um, another thing you could do is, say, the arms and the legs here, <clears throat> where you're planning to have them bend, you could break them apart instead of just having one layer here for the leg, get up one for the upper leg, one for the lower leg. <clears throat> um, two image layers and bind each image layer to a particular bone and then when you bend the leg it moves just that section. And that works well but it, it gives a much more cut out appearance and here we're trying to get smooth bends. So the feature I'm going to be talking about today is a way to achieve that smooth bend effect. So let's look at an isolated part here. Let's look at say the right arm. We'll zoom in a little bit. Now, I'm gonna move this again. So the arm, you see how it's following that bone, but the body is, pull, is pulling on the arm too and trying to keep it in its original position. And even the other arm, you know, bends the arm somewhat and the leg is gonna have a bad effect. So what we're really interested in, this arm, the artwork of the arm should only be controlled by the arm bones. Now there's a new way to do that. If we select the bones that we want to control the arm, and we make the arm layer active. So, so we make the arm layer active. We select the bones that should be in control of that arm layer. You may need to shift click to add some. Then we go to the bone menu and there's a new command here. Use selected bones for flexi binding. Now the arm is still going through flexi binding. However, only, only the um, bones of the arm are being used here. So the body bones um, are not used to bend and distort the image, nor the legs or anything else. So if we go through and do that for all the, the different parts, so the body we want to use these, use selected bones for flexi binding, the right leg, we'll use these bones. 
the pelvis. I'm going to select all the way up through the body so that the pelvis artwork moves the same as the body artwork. The left leg. And the left arm. I'm going to turn all the body parts back on. Now, um, <clears throat> when I start moving the parts, you can see that they're, they're bending in smooth ways, but they're still isolated from each other. So the two legs here bend smoothly, but separately, which is exactly what we wanted. is great. That's uh, what we would want for this kind of artwork. We can play back a little animation here. And that's it. That's uh, selective flexi binding.